Bonjour! In today's GCSE speaking exam preparation lesson, we are going to answer this question. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait le week-end dernier dans ta ville? And this is part of theme 2 for the GCSE. So let's see how we answer this at the highest level possible. Of course, if you want the guide to this lesson, it's absolutely possible. Either go to learnfrenchwithalexa.com, my awesome website, or click on the join button below. So let's have a look at how we can answer this question. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait dans ta ville ce week-end ou le week-end dernier? Ou qu'est-ce que tu as fait le week-end dernier dans ta ville? Now, first of all, always during the exam, listen, listen to the tense of that uh, question. I know it's really hard because you think, oh, I don't know all the tenses. But listen to that. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? So it's composed of two things, okay? A fait. Tu a fait. You have done. So that means that the examiner wants you to answer in the past tense. And this is exactly what we are going to do. So let's have a look at and read the uh, answer, potential answer. It doesn't have to be your answer. You can take what you want from it. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. Samedi dernier, je suis allé voir le dernier film de Spielberg avec mes amis. C'était génial. Ensuite, nous sommes allés au restaurant d'à côté pour manger des pizzas. J'ai adoré cette soirée car l'ambiance était sympa. Ma ville est très vivante le soir et il y a toujours des choses à faire. Le week-end prochain, j'irai au théâtre avec mes parents. Ça sera vraiment chouette. So what I've done in this answer is I've included two types of tenses here, the past tense and the future tense. So let's see how I have uh, used this. Samedi dernier. So we're asking you, what did you do last weekend? You can be precise. Saturday last. And we don't say last, last Saturday in French. We say Saturday, then the adjective last. So samedi dernier. Have a look at that. Okay, could be dimanche uh, dernier, as in last uh, weekend, okay? If you want to say next, it's samedi prochain. Okay, prochain, dernier. Prochain, dernier. And then prochain, of course, comes with a future proche or a future simple. Samedi dernier, je suis allé. Okay, please, please learn how to conjugate aller in the past tense. Even with je or just nous, so je suis allé. Nous sommes allés. Just that is enough. If you can do all of them, je, tu, il, elle, that is, that is even better. But je suis allé, I'm happy with that. I went. Now, you may wonder what the E is for here. That's uh, when you write it. And again, this answer can be, you know, used for the writing exam. You may actually uh, use, you, you have to use the E if je refers to a Feminine, okay, so ça, je. So, je suis allé voir, so infinitive to see, le dernier film de Spielberg. Okay, it doesn't have to be Spielberg film. I don't even know whether he's come out with a new film. But le dernier film de Harry Potter, le dernier film de Fast et Furious, or whatever. Who with? Extend your answer always avec mes amis. Avec mes amis. That can be, this little phrase, avec mes amis, can be put in any type of answers or questions during the exam, okay? C'était génial. So what I'm doing here, I'm telling you, the examiner, okay, how wonderful it was or how bad it was, okay? So learn c'était, it was, c'est, it is, c'était, it was, ce sera, it will be, okay? So c'était génial. C'était chouette, c'était sympa, c'était super, etc., etc. Learn uh, as many adjectives as possible as you can, just to vary a bit your vocabulary, okay? So, remember, answer the questions and extend, okay? And tell me more. What is it you are going to do next? What did you do? How it was? And what do you plan on doing, okay? C'était génial. Ensuite, then... Okay, what did you do? Nous sommes allés. Again, je suis allé. I went. Nous sommes allés. 
We went, okay? Nous sommes allés, and where did you go? Au restaurant. Now, this preposition au is here because restaurant is masculine. If it had been feminine, it would be à la, à la piscine. For example, we went to the swimming pool. Now, à la bibliothèque, the, a library, okay? So, learn the gender of uh, the words you're using because obviously the preposition varies according to that gender. So, where did you go? Extend. Where was it? Le restaurant from next door. D'à côté. À côté, next door. Okay, so devant, derrière, à côté, dans. Learn all the prepositions sur and sous that actually will come useful in the sentence. Pour manger. In order to. Pour manger. You could say afin de. In order to. Pour manger des pizzas. So that's quite simple. I know that when you read this, you think I can I can understand that. Okay. What I want you to do is try to spot the verbs. Okay. Because when it comes to the translation exercise of your exam, you will have to be as accurate as possible to get as many points as possible. So if you see je suis allé, it's a composed verb. So therefore, it's a past tense. Okay. So je suis allé, okay, à côté au restaurant pour manger des pizzas. Tell me how that was. Use a passé composé because the question is in a passé composé. J'ai adoré. I loved it. J'ai adoré. So I have loved. What did I do? Cette soirée. Okay. I mean, of course, being as accurate as possible is a bonus point. Okay. If you can't do that, it's quite fine. You could just stick to j'ai adoré ça. I loved it. J'ai adoré. I loved it. Oh, I'll, I have loved it. <laughs> I can't help it but to add it to it. So, uh, J'ai adoré cette soirée. Okay, I love this evening. Why did you like it? Okay, always extend. Always tell me why. Car. Parce que. Works too. L'ambiance était sympa. Now, there is nothing difficult here. But the examiner is going to like this. It's uh, He or she is going to like the fact that you're using to be in the past that correctly. It was nice. Okay. Now let's go back to my town. Ma ville. Ma ville est, that's a simple present tense, very, très, vivante, lively. My town is very lively. Le soir, in the evening. Okay. Et il y a Toujours des choses à faire. And there is always things to do. Okay? Please learn this. Il y a toujours des choses à faire. Or, il n'y a pas grand chose à faire. There is not much to do. So, beaucoup de choses à faire. A lot of things to do. Pas grand chose à faire. Not much to do. Okay, can you see the difference and hear the difference? Okay, and that can apply for lots of different uh, questions as well. So, il y a toujours des choses à faire. Now, I'm going to add an extra sentence here because I'm going to show the examiner that I can, can conjugate in the future tense. So, that ticks a lot of boxes. Le week-end prochain, so here's the prochain word here, next. So, dernier prochain. Le week-end prochain, next weekend, what is it you're going to do? J'irai, I will go. Again, je vais, I go. Je suis allé, I went. J'irai, I will go. This is a highly irregular verb, which I would like you to learn at least in these three tenses. Okay, Présent, passé composé, futur. And maybe futur proche will help you a lot. Je vais aller, je vais aller. Okay, so where are you going next week? Weekend to the again théâtre. Théâtre is masculine, so we say oh. Who with? Avec mes parents. Okay, learn these phrases by heart. Avec mon ami, avec mes amis, avec mes parents, avec mon père, avec ma mère, avec uh, ma famille, etc., etc. It's always nice because it extends your uh, answer. And then I add another feature, as if we haven't got enough. Ça sera Vraiment chouette. This would be really top-notch cool. Okay, chouette. So we can say sympa, chouette, génial. Here you've got génial. Let me use another color to show you. 
So génial, ok. You've got chouette here. You've got sympa, ok. So use those, ok, to to talk about anything really. So, so the question we try to answer with this one. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait le week-end dernier dans ta ville? And we have answers right that. Take what you want from this, okay? Use difficult sentence, use idiom, okay? Kind of, j'ai hâte, I can't wait. J'ai hâte de sortir avec mes amis en ville la semaine prochaine, for example, okay? Take what you want from it, okay? But learn it in a very accurate way because that's where the points are. You know, get it right, get the tenses right, get your pronouns right, get your um, possessive right, get your uh, your adverbs right. Okay, that's it for me. There is a support guide available with this lesson. If you join or click on the join button, you'll get it. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous, bisous.